What are you doing, you idiot? You meant to be filming this I was shit. Just thinking in my mind, I'm like, he's gonna pop out with a friggin' camera somewhere. Yeah, well, you meant to be filming it. This is the boring part. Yeah, but the people want to see this. You people. So we've got another new project for <laughs> 2024. Uh, man, it's no not one, here yet. No one's gonna see this one coming. Guess what we're building? <laughs> what are we building, Ben? Another S15. <laughs> Yeah, but this one's going to be a street car. Sylvia's RS. We build Sylvia's, and that's it. Now this this Sylvia is going to be kind of like a budget build, um, but not budget build. It's only budget because we've got a lot of parts lying around to build another Sylvia. The parts, are not budget. Nah. So so this engine's basically just a stock SR20. But we are going to pull the head off, put a head gasket, a metal head gasket on it, vapor blast all the fucking aluminium. I swore, should stop swearing. Stop swearing for 2024. I didn't swear. No, but I did. Yeah. So it's just reminding you both, us both. <laughs> Powder coat the rock cover. We've got a turbo manifold situation to go on there. Chuck a new oil pump on it. I'm yeah. Flip it upside down. I've got typical jet import motor, silicon everywhere. So along with a new oil pump and stuff on the front. I'll flip it open, pull the sumps off, check bearings at the same time. Maybe do our little bearing track, throw bearings in it. Try and find a D throttle body because the DT ones are restrictive as hell. Yeah. I don't know, do you have any of them? Probably. I've got so much SR20 stuff between myself and Mr. Marshall, but zinc, I've zinc, got some stuff myself. Zinc all the bolts. Yeah, make it look real cool. Decide what colour we're going to do the rock cover. Make this thing look jazzy. Not that manifold, that. Fuck that manifold off. Going. Not in the bin. Because it's cool. On Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> yeah. Ben's been working on us for about 40 minutes. I love being working on answering the phones. She's a bit dirty. This is this is the thing we're not stoked on. What Ben found is that the threads in the oil pump were cross-threaded. So non-existent. Non-existent. They were gooed in. Look how much goo's in there. Ooh. Cut and paste. A couple of tubes. Jesus Christ. Now you guys see that? Off. But we'll get another oil pump, so the threads will be good. We've got another head. That one can go on our spares. I reckon we may as well just go full hog. Full hog? Yeah. Well, we're planning on selling this car when it's done, right? <laughs> we'll we'll uh, make it cool. It'll be cool. There we go. Hold that. With the left hand. Stop it. Hey, oh my god. Look at the fucking heat gasket. It's a stock one. Yeah, but it's... Is it? Nah, but has that been cut? Nah, it's just been pulled the stocks on the part because they're not molten out of steel. They're like okay. fucking cardboard pretty much. Oh, it has been fucking cut right there. It doesn't yeah. go all the way around. It's actually missing the front part. So that's why I had all the goo in it. <laughs> Holy shit. So, do you know what that means? What? That means they've flipped this upside down. they pulled the oil pump off. The factory oil pump. It's broken the heat gasket, they haven't pulled the head off, they've banged a new one on and gooed it up. I just had to get a rundown from Ash on how to use this thing again. Now, typical me, I've cracked into it. As you've seen before, Adrian probably showed you last week. Flipped it up, drained all the shit out of it, pulled the sumps off because I'm going to go ahead and check all the bearings and obviously get rid of all this red sealant. So thanks Japan, they red sealed it all up. They even used it under here as replacement for the front half of the head gasket. So when you pull an oil pump off an SR to replace it without pulling the head off, it'll rip the factory fibre head gasket off and take it with it, the old oil pump. So they slammed a tube of RTV in there. You can see in there. Probably already seen it before. And tried to make up that gap with the head gasket. Obviously it worked because it wasn't too much oil down the front, but it's left me with a hur of a mess to clean up. Adrian's gone away on holiday. I'm here. I'm gonna knock this out. Might even put it in that. Steal the 2.2. Put that in the, in the Phoenix S15. <laughs> so yeah, bit of shit to do. I'll clean it all up, paint it all up. Every single bolt I've pulled out that. I need to get zinced. So I'll clean it up on the wire wheel. And every bolt gets zinced. I'll put them on a little back in little bags and we'll assemble the engine. Obviously that one gets zinced. But yeah. Got some new parts turned up. Turn my head gasket, we swear by them. Brand new oil pump, brand new gasket kit, which we use a few of the seals out of that. And then we got some new spice turning up on Monday or Tuesday that'll help me 
put this bad boy back together. Some head studs, some cams, Adrian agreed on some cams for our budget build, which will pair nicely with our G-Series, G30. We had lying around just a, a uh, paperweight G30 we're gonna put on this with one of our manifolds, so bring it on. I'm gonna pull this apart, pull the dipstick out, which is slammed in there for some reason by some dipstick in Japan and attack into it. So when Adrian comes back, we should have a pretty much assembled SR20 long block. We can start dressing it and then we can get it in the new S15, which I haven't even seen yet. I don't think Adrian's seen it. He bought it sight unseen. Budget builders all go. What are we doing, Ben? <laughs> so we went and picked up the new car and then we got a flatty on the motorway. Not just a flatty. Oh, we ripped the fucking thing to shreds. Had to MacGyver on a fucking space saver. No, uh, Grayland Tire Works. Thanks, Grayland Tire Works. Friendly service. Very unfriendly service. <laughs> Wasn't very happy when we rolled in here. Nah, blocking this fucking driveway. Yeah. But yeah, here's the S15, guys. This is what the. Uh, this is what's going on. Benny's on it. Changed the fucking tire. Here's the new tire. Here's the old tire. I've already put two of the wheels on, but these are the wheels that I chose. SSR GTX03s. Wasn't in love with them, but seeing them on the front, they look pretty cool. So I'm going to quickly bang the rears on and we'll see what it's like. Morning! It's a new day. Ben's been busy not filming things. Putting the head on, some valve springs, we've got some pong cams for it. It's got a metal head gasket now. Yeah, it's gonna look pretty damn cool. This head had, for some reason, somebody had taken all the VCT gear off and it had estadine cans and they were massive. Now it's got this VCT delete, but we're gonna put VCT all back in. What I'm gonna do today on the shell, actually we'll give you a proper look because we haven't really done a Good look around. Fiberglass front bumper, because that's seven thousand dollars if it's plastic. Plastic side skirts, plastic end caps. S14 wing with a, I'm pretty sure it's an R32 GDR gurney wing, which not sure what we'll do there. We might might fuck that off, but it looks all right. But the angle of the wing, don't know if you can see this, but the angle of the wing needs to be a bit more there, not there on an angle backwards so it doesn't quite pull it off as good as I'd like it. Probably going to change those tail lights to factory numbers. Just a bit grubby. In a previous life, the 301 kilowatt SR20 in it. Hopefully we can really get it back to that with what we've got going on with this now. Engine bay. Give this a good scrub today. I'm going to have to try and find some of the AC parts because I would like to keep AC in this. It had a GK Tech brake line kit put in it. Might change that back to hard lines because I've got some. Turbo Smart fuel pressure rig. Right. So we're going to get all this crap off. So we use a product called Super Rip from Pace Products and this shit is actually very, very corrosive if you leave it on it just takes the paint off. And wear gloves when you do it too because it hurts. <laughs> and it stinks. Well it's just not, it doesn't stink, it's just strong. Engine bay's all been super ripped. Hopefully that shows how good it came up. My man Ash isn't just good at camera stuff. He's also good at reviving the life of a head tail light and a headlight. Beautiful. I'm just doing some vapor blasting. This is the stuff I've done already. Just gonna let that dry out so we can blast all the media off. Top ready to hose. Now I'll do the bottom radiator right hose, bottom part of the intake manifold. Just makes it look like new again really. What's going on Ben? It's already popped a rocker. 
What? <laughs> Look at it. A rocket fella. Oh. I don't you're being sarcastic. So oh, yeah. So I know. Oh, Neo heads on fucking his uh, twenties. This head has been not very nice. It's got my head stored away. It was actually destined for the S14. It was all freshly done, but then when it was freshly done by our buddy, the engine builder, a couple of years ago now, it was then stored in cling film wet. Some of the cam rail oil feed, this cam rail oil feed here, rusted, that one rusted. Bolts were rusted in the cam caps because there was moisture in them. So I had to vice them out and then clean everything up and then measure the cam cap to make sure it was still handy. And it is. So, I'm just gonna pop this rocker back on. There we go, get on there. There we go. We also found, on cams. we also found that this head which came from a motor we bought, the old car, ages ago, had China rockers in it. But these are like China rockers. So you see, the left hand side is supposed to be machined to sit in the guide, into the rocker guide in there. On the left side, the shim on the top of the valve sits machined in there, and these didn't. So if we ran this and put any revs into it, we'd have chuck it. chucked that rocker. So they so go in the bin. They're going in the bin, they'll put a set of factory good condition factory rockers in it and I'll talk it up the timing's already done because we've done the timing a million times it's on all our what do you call it camera rolls our special timing sheet we put the can turbo see. on today can you see can you see the sit, sit that on there see the timing we've decided to get rid of these probably would have kept them if they were not tinted and we'll just bang some factory ones in the ones that uh, Ash was just tidying up it honestly looks like it's brand new from this end. Very good. What do you guys reckon? Factory aftermarket. Behind that weld there, you might be able to hand fashion something up into there. I reckon we can do that and I can tack it up. Do you like the way that looks without we're looking at down here? Yeah. Yeah? Yep, rock covers mm. on. I'll put a truss blow off valve on it. One of those fucking mm. stupid blow off valves. Nah, not, not a type R, I've got like a type. Does it bolt onto the same thing? Yeah, yeah, cool. same. So basically, we've got a whole bunch of piping that is from when we mocked up DET motor. A very old engine setup in the white S14, yeah. which had a greedy intake. That's why this situation doesn't really work through that hole. But the rest of the intercooler piping will all work after this journey. Got the brushed radiator. I'm going to brush all the piping. Just need a drive shaft, engine loom, make the exhaust, make I'm going to give it a crack with our new MIG converter Y5000, Nimbus 2000. Things going to bird shit some stuff up. It's actually going to be a good little pro project for me. I'm stoked. This is actually really close. It doesn't look like it, but it's pretty much an engine loom, some plumbing, and kick it in the guts. And a couple of gold bolts. Gold bolts. Rock cover came out sick. Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah. Use the press-on fittings that we sell. Dash 10 press-ons. We need to figure focus. out... And we'll A in that down to there, which Ben did yeah. earlier. Then we will... Tidy up those heater lines because they're going to look really shit with the uh, stainless dump pipe and they'll probably melt. Need some more gold. Have any ABS, it can just pretty much kick in here. Well, 45 would probably be nice actually. It can just kick in there. And we'll decide what wastegate. We're going to need spare wastegates. I think we've got a couple of spare wastegates lying around. Yeah, we'll chuck like a fucking 38 mil two bolt flange. You reckon? Nah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I actually got an old teal line around. Perfect. I'll put a turbo smart on it. A new one. Okay. Sweetie. I don't want to go. Blow the budget. I don't want to get on hey. the dyno. Blow the budget up. Well, you don't want to get to the dyno and then realize that you've got problems with a wastegate. And it's going to make. It's old. It's, it's got make, holes in the diaphragm or something. It's going to make stupid power for a stock motor. It's going to stock block. Off. Cast our motor weld on here. I'm probably not going to attempt that. I'm probably going to take that to a professional. And then probably one of our fan kits. We reckon we've probably got a fan kit lying around. Hmm. Can't yeah. we? Yep. Yeah. 
lying around, mm -hmm. like not actually off our stock, one lying around we could throw in it for yep. cheap, 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 yep. and then wire it up nice with some good fans on it so it keeps it cool. I got one. And I think I'm going to pull the alternator apart now and we're going to back blast it because it really grinds my gears compared to all the rest of the motor. Yeah, do it. So I'll probably pull that apart later on, you can vapor blast it. Give that a dust up, do the paint that pulley. Yeah, paint that pulley. Lots of pulleys being painted. And then I need to plumb the turbo. Sort out this, put a new fuel filter on it that's not upside down, that'd be and good. Some fuel line that maybe isn't only rated to 50 psi. <laughs> yeah, squishy that is. Yeah. The uh, old owner was about to die. Well, it's been three weeks since we got the S15 roller. And now it's still a roller, but it's got an engine on it. Ben's learned how to weld. <laughs> We've zinked a whole bunch of stuff. Happy? It looks really good. It's, it's cool. It's a lot. It's a lot of work, but I know how to do it. Man. It's turned up. It's your dad. <laughs> outside stock. We haven't done anything to the outside apart from put the wheels on but this is where the magic happens this is what we've done it might not look like much but vapor blasting and it's zinking and cleaning every bolt before zinking yeah. re-gluing things the whole engine's been apart everything's been checked refreshed fresh everything Hell valve springs cans it takes so long hell of a job outward exhaust manifold which i learned to I welded the waste kit on it, I welded the exhaust on it. Don't get too close, mate, thank you. Just there, that's good enough. But no, it good from good. far. Um, brushed alley radiator, brushed pipes. Pulled the alternator to pieces eventually, because I remember I said in the last video. Look at that. Look at that. Adrian vapor honed all the casings. What else are you vapor honed? The whole in them and all the that looks better than brand new. Basically everything that's vapor blasted, I did. That is better than brand new. It's got some thousand cc injectors in there. Throttle body, we did the springs, we cleaned all the plastics. Would you look at that? Tidied all up the old shit that was in it here from the previous person who owned it or built it or whatever. I changed all the fuel line to some injected AFI, fuel line. Fuel lines. Had some carburetor fuel line in there. New fuel filter, peace of mind. Tidied up a whole lot of the wiring. And here we need to put the engine room in because Jimmy Gordon's. Terminating it to a 550 plug-in for us. Thanks, Jimmy. So what do we got? We're out on this boat right now, not doing our loop. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Now he actually just sent me a Snapchat and he is at his workshop, not doing a loom. We've got to do a couple of breather lines. We're going to do a breather line back into the pipe, back into the intake pipe. Do one down for crankcase. One oil line I'm going to make. Power steering fluid, engine oil, fill up the cooling system, wire up the fans. Plug it in Monday. Coils. Have you got plugs in there? No. Just probably put some plugs in the holes. Coils. Uh, we're doing VAG coils. James. Vag. Solution. Vag Good coils. Easy to find and brand new compared to the 20 year old S14 and S15 stuff. I normally run S15 coils, which are coil over plug, no igniter, but too hard to get. So, Jimmy, VAG coils. The interior has just had a full clean. So it's just pretty nice, clean, basic. This shit doesn't clean up nice. It, but like, to your standard. It's just a shitty, the S15 texture that they leave on here looks garbage after a few years. Like, that's not so bad. Genob. But here. Yeah, so Tomei Genob. Yeah, Tomei Genob. Yeah. Came with the car. Yeah. Nice tidy dash, interior. Oh, we've already got a vacuum source from Buffett in here. Saw that out. Good, yep, just making sure it uh, picks up all the images because we don't want another <laughs> highlighter, Adrian. Uh, it's Daniel with the beers. Yeah, now we're just waiting for Dan to come back with some beers. <laughs> but um, just enjoy this because this looks cool. What I had an S14 exhaust, stainless exhaust sitting there, so we bang that on there. A couple of little mods to make that fit. That looks all good. Right, S15, we didn't cover it as much as we should have between Adrian and I, but it's been tuned, it's been 
freshly warranted. It's been wheel aligned and it's epic, this car. I love it. It's fast, it gives good response out of the G30 and it's real surprising. It's been a, it's been a cool little setup and I'm really stoked with how the actual build came out and how we completed it in such a fast time and what we needed, what we needed to do. Obviously using all the spares and things like that and our knowledge. It's been cool, really cool. And here it is finished. You've probably already seen it, but here it is finished. Din, our fabricator, spec two, whipped up this catch can in the morning, made some lines, just finishes off nicely. Used some Alwood parts, Adrian's other company, fittings in the rock cover. He sells them on his website. I also, you get my buddy camera going right there because it's only me here today. I also was able to do AN line the crankcase breather to the head as well when we had the motor apart. So that was really cool. I uh, made 300 kilowatt on like 19 pound or 20 pound or something on JT's dyno. Yeah, it's a really cool S15. Really cool S15. Nice and tidy interior, all tidied up. Uh, and as you probably would have seen, we sold this car to Keep It Reap. And Keep It Reap have got it live right now. By the time this probably goes live, the Giveaway is probably done, I would say. But yeah, one lucky punter is gonna win this car for 30 bucks. A little side hustle for me. I, I do all the filming for them. This is just a very, very cool car to give away. It's like the childhood, for me, childhood dream was S15 road car, SR20. And actually growing up with my brother, Koya Drift Hex were the one that you wanted on S15. Don't ask me why. Everyone had them. Carl Ruderman had them drifting, and you wanted, that's what you wanted to do. And yeah, Sylvia with Drift Hex. So this version, the more genuine version, with the SSRs, GDO 3s I think they are. They're a really cool wheel and it came out really really nice. Adrian is just a wizard with his offsets and checks and he just orders, bangs them on and look at that. Great street starts or whatever you want to call it but overall I love this car. I really do. One day definitely want to have uh, my own street S15 that's for sure. Stored away. We've got a cool project coming up as well. I'll tell you later. Adrian will tell you later. We're definitely going to do something uh, a little bit different. Well, probably not different in the car wise, but something cool coming up. That's the next thing on the agenda. We've got a bit of work to do this week and we'll be back into it. Yeah, a couple of events coming up. S15, we're taking to Drift Wars of Guy Maxwell and Choice Events. Some Americans coming over, some Australians coming over, a night ride from Poland coming over and driving at Talpo. So we'll be down there to compete in Talpo. And then straight back, swap cars, grab the 8.6 and we'll be heading to Bay Park for the d and final. Some cool events coming up and uh, looking forward to it. Look how much goo's in there. Uh, couple of paste, couple of tubes. Jesus.